Good morning. Well, hello, welcome back to Amy TV. Don't mind me while I eat my breakfast and present myself in the rarest of forms. We always say it's rare form, right? When we are having a no makeup day and yet it's the least of the rarest of forms. I actually wish it was a no makeup day. I do not have that luxury. I did yesterday, it was awesome, it was awesome. I did a lot of filming earlier in the week, but today I do have to do something with this i have a couple of calls and a meeting tonight um but until then i'm just gonna be like this and loving it oh avocado toast i make it every day it's not getting old it's not anyway you're probably wondering what is going on so last month i did a productive day in the life video with you and you loved it i wanted to do a productive day in the life with you because this is one of those times where i don't have a lot of travel right now you have said we want to know what you do to be productive working from home when you're not on the road so what have we done so far today i'll show you the breakdown of my calendar in just a little bit um but the first thing i wanted to talk to you about is actually the very first thing i did this morning which is also a little bit of a weird thing for me at the moment. Most of you who tune in are fully aware of the fact that the first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is go and freshen the face. I cannot wake up unless I have splashed water on my face, washed my face, gone through my regimen, all that stuff. Unfortunately, I've been in a weird situation with my skin. In the last couple of months, I've been having some really weird like patchiness. Um, I went to my dermatologist. We thought it was perioral dermatitis. It wasn't because I did not react to antibiotics whatsoever. It's been sort of this crappy long road. <laughs> <laughs> in my in my life it feels like a crappy long road for the last couple of months i've been using like bottom of the barrel simplest skincare that you can buy from the drugstore possible which has actually been less bad than i thought it was going to be but the whole point of it was that i needed to take everything skincare wise out of my regimen to figure out what was going wrong. So now I'm at this critical phase where I am able to start integrating skincare back into my routine. I needed to be particular about what those products were. Super, super grateful to Beauty by Design because they said they wanted to work with me and I thought this is actually perfect because I'm nervous to just go to Sephora and get my normal thing or get something new and try it. I feel like I need something that's a little bit more specific to me and a little bit safer on the safe side. The timing of this just could not be better at the moment because I, I really take my skin so seriously and I wanted to make a very responsible move as I'm trying to figure out do I have allergies to something without actually having to do a patch test? I'm trying to figure out on my own. So I wanna show you what I'm using and what the deal is with them just in case this is a fit for you because I know a lot of you have sensitive skin and things like that where you probably can't just go buy anything that somebody recommends to you and you might need something a little bit more custom and this is exactly what they do. So I'm gonna show you what the deal is and why I'm not wearing makeup for you right now, basically. Okay, first I have to show you this. So this is my skin scription. And the way that this was generated is when you go to Beauty by Design, you fill out sort of like a skin survey and you even take a selfie so that an actual esthetician can look at your face and see what's going on with your face so they can really get this right. And so this is what they came up with for me and they kind of walk you through why they chose each product. You decide a couple of things. First of all, you can decide you don't want everything that they recommend and you also tell them in the survey what price point you're comfortable with. So not only is this custom to you based on what you need personally, it's custom to you and how much you wanna pay. All well, this talk about skin, I need more water in my life. Oh my gosh. By the way, these are the text messages between me and the esthetician from Beauty by Design. So 
literally I could continue to go into further detail as she was trying to figure out the right skin scription for me. I am just so, it was, it was perfect. It was totally perfect. And there's the lineup. That skincare regimen I love so much. So we have a cleanser and you can see that they each have a number on them specific to what my skin scription was. And everything has been so nice and just like clear and they feel amazing and just luxurious and safe. Like that is what is so big for me. Um, I've been keeping the boxes too, just because I like to be able to read those ingredients. You know, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to this stuff, especially if your skin starts acting up. So I just want you to know about this because it's been a huge help for me. Like I said, they will work with your budget and you can use my code, which is in the description, and get another 20% off if you want to try it. So go and text your esthetician and get something made for you because that is so important. Everything needs to be custom for you. That was a long-winded way of saying that was the first thing I did this morning. <laughs> Thank you, Beauty by Design, so much for sponsoring this video because I do think this is so important for people to know about. If you are not taking care of your skin yet, you sleep in your makeup, you don't use serums, you don't use uh, oils, you don't use moisturizer on a regular basis, I need to tell you that's a huge mistake. I don't care how old you are, the sooner you get on it, the better. The only reason why people still think I look like I'm 16 is because I started in my early 20s. So, let's go about the day. This girl refuses to lay anywhere else in this office. I had to leave my slippers for her because her butt was on them. Can I have them back? My feet are cold. Ooh, they are warm though. All right, so let's talk about what I'm doing today. This is a video, actually. I was uploading and it's now done. And so I'll be posting that later today. So here is what the day looks like. It was a little bit of a late morning. I wanted to wake up earlier than this, but Lucy was giving me a hard time last night, so I was a little late. And I also let my morning routine go a bit longer than usual because I just needed the me time. This was a drawing that I had to do for my Instagram. I had to announce those winners this morning so I could get that off of my desk literally these books need to get them off my desk my friend Jay's book talk triggers came out why is that exciting because this is the first business book with alpacas on the cover enough said I think so next I took Lucy for a walk because that was my excuse to get coffee this morning because I was really in need of that and then you'll notice there's two blocks on my calendar for email and Trello those are the two hours today that I'm allowing myself to check email and to hang out in the project manager with my assistant there's no reason to spend any more time than that. I probably don't even need all two hours, but it's kind of nice if I get done early in both of those blocks because it gives me some buffer time. Had to make an edit to today's video, which is now exported and uploaded. I'm vlogging right now, so that's what this is. My little kickstart half hour that I needed to do that. Next, I'm so excited. It's time to start recording my podcast. You guys know I've already been recording actual podcast episode interviews, but I need to do some other audio, specifically episode zero, which is the first episode you will actually hear on the podcast. It's more of an introduction to the show, probably about five minutes or so, but I'm giving myself an hour just so I can make sure I say all the right things and write it out and all that kind of fun stuff. Got a draft uh, boss notes, which is my newsletter coming out tomorrow. I've given myself some time for that. I have a call at two. Back again, email and Trello. Then I'm launching that video about four o'clock today. I have some research for another video I want to do happening there. And then I'm going to happy hour with my friend Kevin. And also, Vin's getting back tonight. So I gotta pick him up from the airport. I think I'm picking him up from the airport. I'm just realizing I haven't allocated time to fix my face. So I better get ahead on this podcast and the email newsletter because I need to build in about a half an hour there. I know you agree. I know you agree. There's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Oh,
So I did a little bit of arranging of my schedule because I realized, hmm, maybe I should shower. <laughs> uh, and so I moved my um, newsletter drafting to later today. I don't have to pick up in from the airport. So that's what's happening. But I do have a call in 20 minutes, which is why I need to quickly blow dry and do makeup. But I wanted to mention something that I was like, I meant to tell you earlier when I was talking about my skincare, but I forgot. Another reason why like my skincare is like complicated at the moment is because that like splash water on my face feeling that I love that I was telling you about earlier, I can't actually do at the moment. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you may have noticed I talked about my eyebrows. <laughs> You know, we just talk about eyebrows on Instagram. It's fine. <laughs> well, I was talking about my eyebrows because I just got them microbladed. Actually, I did this last year. It was my annual retouch. And um, so what happens is you're basically like temporary tattooing your eyebrows on your face. And um, you can't get your eyebrows wet for a considerable period of time. So something that was not on my calendar today was working out and um, I also have to use like a washcloth and like pat around my eyebrows to wash my face. It's very complicated. I'm gonna have to do the washcloth thing for I, th I think it's at least 30 days. That's what I did last year, I was right around like 30 days. So you're not like wiping out the ink that's in there. Um, paste that contains pigments or dyes and is used to color a surface to produce an image design that was from Wikipedia would you like to hear more no but I cannot wait until I'm outside of this like 10 day mark which is on Friday morning when I can finally go back to the trainer because I'm dying to do it I'm dying to so anyway if you were wondering why there's not a workout also it's taking me forever to find the right blend of foundation at the moment because spray tan not on point that's why I didn't work out this morning and um, why I've not really been working out for the last week, to be honest. So I have to hurry up and get my makeup all done here and blow dry in 15 minutes or less. That should be fun. So I think we're gonna do like low, low makeup today. <laughs> Here's to hoping it's an audio call because I didn't get my hair blow dried. <laughs> oh, that was such a good phone call. I didn't really know if um, that was gonna be a good phone call or not. It just sort of was like a random introduction somebody made and it was so good. I love when that happens. I love when that happens. I love when I get on the phone or meet somebody in person that just like rocks my world and I learn so much. It just gets me so excited. <laughs> anyway, so good phone call. Um, I had to get to my email and Trello time. That's all good to go. Actually, I don't, I might have spent too much time on email because I don't think I actually got to everything in Trello. That's okay. I, none of that is urgent. Um, just pushed the video live, so that's exciting. I'm so excited this video is out. I had such a good talk with Leah Pipes for the podcast. And so I shared like a little sampling. Hopefully you saw it already if you're watching this video. I'm taking time to like rest mm -hmm. and I'm also readjusting to it was go, go, go. And now it's not, mm -hmm. which makes me a little sad. It's, it, it, it kind of switches into this very sticky place. Yeah. It's really good. It's just so relatable. It's just so relatable. We, you know, life isn't perfect. Life isn't unicorns and rainbows for everybody um, all the time. 
and um, I just thought it was such a good lesson. Mm. Let me know in the comments if you saw it and what you thought of it, please. Um, okay, so from here, I have to make a little Instagram story action for the video, and then um, I think that's it until I have to go to happy hour. I love getting things done early in a calendar block because it means I can go back to things that I didn't necessarily get to or skip to something in the future that I might need to work on. Like I can start my newsletter a little early if I need to. But yeah, Lucy could probably use another walk today too. She's not had the best day. She's been crying for attention quite a bit. Oh God, now my battery's gonna run out. Figures. Oh, I should probably blow dry my hair. That's another thing I need to do. Ah! Oh crap, I gotta reschedule that. Quick update, multiple, multiple updates. First of all, yes. My mirror is in front of my door <laughs> because I just had this thought that it could go really well here <laughs> behind the door. I didn't even have to put it behind the door, but I'm putting it here to see how I like it. Um, I'm shopping for things on this wall. I might tell you about that later. Um, but anyway, that was thought number one. Thought number two, apparently it's 87 degrees outside. <laughs> so I thought a sweater and jeans was not a probe for drinks with Kevin. So I have changed as you could tell. I could not, however, bring myself to blow dry my hair. So I'm skipping that and Kevin will totally not care. That's what's happening. I don't have to pick up Ben from the airport. So I'm just like texting him while he's on the plane and I'm excited for him to get home. I think I have to end the vlog here. And the reason is I'm going to happy hour. <laughs> so do we really need to see how that story ends? I don't think so. So this is kind of the end of my productive day. So I'm just going to, I think, um, work on my newsletter tonight. If I've only had one glass of wine, I will work on my newsletter when I get back. <laughs> and then have a good night's rest. I'll probably start sleeping before Van gets home. Not gonna lie, because I don't think he gets home till like 1130. And then tomorrow's a new day. Lucy, was it a productive day for you? Huh? Huh? I didn't think I was gonna wake you up. All right, before I get out of here, I wanted to let you know the links for everything for Beauty by Design is in the description. I recommend you take the test and just find out what they recommend for you, especially for what's in your price range. And there's a discount code if you use my special code, amylandino20, it's you 20% off your order. So if you tell them your budget, do that, I'm getting a text, but then use my code to get 20% off that so you can save and make sure it is the right fit for your skin. That's all for today, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes and remember to continue to go after the life that you want. Cheers.